Today's video is dedicated to oatmeal. Many people are big fans of oatmeal, eating it for breakfast every day and believing that it is a healthy choice. Now, we want to share with you three surprising facts about oatmeal that might make you reconsider whether or not it's healthy to eat it. We're not going to convince you to stop eating oatmeal. Our goal is to provide you with little known information that you won't find in a simple Google search about oatmeal. Let's not delve into the well-known fact that bagged instant oatmeal with high sugar content is unhealthy. Today we're going to focus on unsweetened oatmeal. Even those packets of instant oatmeal that are high in sugar often contain the claim that they are good for the heart. Many articles even call oatmeal a superfood, claiming that it can lower cholesterol, regulate blood sugar, and promote heart health. To back up these claims, below, we will cite several studies on the effects of oatmeal on blood sugar, insulin, and cholesterol levels. These studies have shown significant improvements in cholesterol and blood sugar levels. Pretty interesting, isn't it? But there's a catch. When these studies report significant reductions in cholesterol or blood glucose levels, they are comparing oatmeal to a control product, white bread. Thus, any improvement is relative to white bread, and this is not the healthiest comparison. For example, if white bread raises blood sugar levels by 10 points, but oatmeal only raises them by 5 points, that's already a 50% improvement. But remember, that's an improvement over white bread, not an absolute improvement. And that's not all. These studies show that the improvement in blood sugar levels only occurs immediately after consumption. In addition, some studies base their findings on the consumption of a specific compound found in oats, beta-glucan, rather than the whole grain itself, which can lead to erroneous conclusions. Another study involving 29 people with diabetes found no significant change in blood glucose levels. When talking about health benefits, often select parts of studies are picked out without giving the full picture. I suggest you check your blood sugar levels before and after eating oatmeal to see for yourself. Surprisingly, we were unable to find any studies on instant oatmeal with added sugar and its effect on blood glucose, insulin, and cholesterol levels. Now let's talk about gluten. Oats are generally considered a gluten-free product, but they do contain a type of gluten called avenine. This protein can cause an inflammatory response in the body, which can be especially problematic if you have conditions such as irritable bowel syndrome, inflammation, or celiac disease. What's more, this inflammatory response may not show up for days, making it difficult to make the connection. Gluten, a category that includes many proteins, is one of the main triggers of autoimmune diseases such as Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Finally, let's discuss the use of the weed-killing drug glyphosate in growing oats. Curiously, the FDA has not included oats in its reports on glyphosate in food. However, Monsanto, the manufacturer of glyphosate, claims it is safe. At the same time, the World Health Organization has called glyphosate a carcinogen, and a lawsuit has been filed linking glyphosate exposure to cancer, specifically non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. The Environmental Working Group found traces of glyphosate in more than 95% of oat products. Glyphosate is used as a pre-harvest drying agent that quickly kills and dries out the plant. This practice is used not only on oats, but also on wheat. If you are going to consume oats, it is recommended that you choose organic steel-cut oats. You can also try giving up breakfast completely and try intermittent fasting. You may be surprised at how good you feel. If you are looking for an alternative to breakfast, eggs may be a healthier choice. For more information on giving up breakfast and its benefits, check out our next videos.